for 100% tax exemption. So you can apply to be exempt any time during the year, and tax benefits will be prorated. Two other kinds of you can scroll down, and I'll tell you to, you can find out whether or not you're a veteran who got it last year and didn't get it this year. So there's also an active duty veterans exemption. If you're um, in active duty, you can get your taxes deferred until 180 days after you get home. And then there's the returning veterans exemption. <coughs> Once you come off of active duty in armed conflict, there's a one-time, <coughs> excuse me, $5,000 reduction in your assessed evaluation. So you have to have owned the home on January 1st of that year before you come home. But those are for veterans. So you've got an active duty exemption, a returning veterans exemption, and a disabled veterans exemption. But let's assume for the moment that you're just like not a veteran, you who doesn't fit into these categories. What I have to say is applicable to everyone mm. because everyone has a brother, sister, elderly parent, aunt, uncle, someone that they know who's in this lottery pool of 136 million punch on your address you scroll down you're going to immediately see a picture of your property you're going to know you're in the right place because you put the address in Mm -hmm. so now you know you're in the right place Mm -hmm. there's a little button there it says view your property tax summary you scroll down the first thing you're going to see is your march bill last march and a copy of your august bill up on the screen it's going to flash whether or not both of them are paid. If they aren't paid, you can punch a button that you can pay online. If you don't want to pay online and you realize, you know, I forgot to get the mail, I didn't pay, you can scroll down a little bit, you can punch a button, and a copy of your tax bill will show up. It's like the Maria Pappas version of the United Airlines Pass. (laughs) It has a scan line at the bottom, just the way you can get on the plane. Uh You can take that bill from your computer and take it to a Chase Bank and pay, mail it in, pay online. Those are your options. So now you want to find out what else is going on. You keep scrolling down. I'm Maria Pappas, the Cook County Treasurer. took me 20 years, Cliff, to program this. Here's what (laughs) I programmed. I have a 20-year history on everyone's property in Cook County. So if you, in 1989 decided, or you in 1989 had a mortgage with Chase, and you were a first-time homeowner, and you got the bill, you forgot that Chase was going to pay it because it was an escrow. So you and Chase both were paid. I can tell you right now that in 1989, if you overpaid by $5,000, you can punch the little red button, and if you were, in fact, the owner in 1989, you can get that $5,000. If you have a patient at Operation Push, we put in there four days a week. We're back two on the West East, Johnny Miller's Church. We have given back since April $20 million. Wow. We are beating the bushes every day and looking for people. So mm. if you've double paid, it's going to show up there. And there's going to be a big sign that flashes across the screen that says refund. So now you're going to scroll down a little bit more because we're trying to figure out how you're going to get some money. If you're a homeowner, you get a homeowner's exemption. But on this site, we also have listed senior and senior freeze. And there are about $44 million worth of seniors. Mm. A lot of them are veterans. Mm. A lot of them are veterans Mm -hmm. who may not fit into the veteran category, but may fit into the senior category. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So now if you're a senior, Mm -hmm. you're over 65, you can apply for a senior citizen exemption. It's worth about $600. If you're looking at your screen while you're talking to me, you're going to see four years. You're going to see going back four years, 15, 16, 17, 18. If the box says no, 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 every time the box says no and you're a senior who's over 65, from in, 19, in, in, in 2015, if you were over 65 in that year, I owe you, I 
I owe you $2,000. Wow. You punch the button where it says claim exemption. You fill out the form. You don't have to mail it in. You can take it to push. You can take it to Johnny Miller's church on the west side. We will process it there for you. We will help you fill it out. So also in those boxes are veterans exemptions. You can see if you got the veterans exemption one year but didn't get it another year. So we, Cliff, last month, not last month, but August, we hit one million people coming to this website because we've gotten the word out yeah. through various media outlets and a lot on VON telling people that all you have to do is come to cookcountytreasure.com, go to the purple box, punch the purple box, put in your address, home shows up, scroll down. You can see if you owe, you don't owe. You can get a copy of your bill. If you didn't get it, you can take that bill and mail in or pay it chase. If you go down a little bit more, you can see whether or not you're entitled to a double payment that you or anyone in your family may have made on any piece of property that you may have owned over the last 20 years. It's not just the current piece of property. All you have to do is prove ownership on the property that you had. You scroll down a little bit more, and what you're going to see is a lot of information about whether or not you should have gotten either a homeowner's a senior or a senior freeze. Now, why did Reverend Jackson get $4,000? Because for four years, he did not get his senior exemption. He did not get his senior exemption. So, and because he didn't get a senior exemption, he didn't get a homeowner's exemption. So that's eight boxes times five, four grand. There are tons, I'm telling you, Cliff, tons of veterans out there who yeah. don't know that these exemptions are available to them. We encourage you to go to and the most important thing here. If you are a younger veteran with an older parent, you need to put in your parents' address. You don't have to just be selfish here and put in your own address. You can put in anybody's address that you know. So it's important that if you have older parents who aren't minding their business and you're supposed to be minding theirs, Go to cookcountytreasure.com, go to the purple box, put in their address, and see whether or not they're like Reverend Jackson, forgetting to get their senior exemption and their homeowner's exemption. So on this website, you're going to find something else which is really interesting. You can sign up for e-billing. You can sign up to never get your bill in the mail again. You can just open up your email get your bill, take it, pay it online, go someplace to, and go to a bank and pay it. We so have just... Uh, that's what we're doing. And, uh, you know, you, you just continue, notwithstanding the fact that I've known you, uh, to, to surprise me. What you do is just, uh, is just great. Since we, Truman left office, we've <laughs> known each other. We have a caller, 312-374. <laughs> well, we've known each other. 8130 is our number, and Rebecca is uh, calling. Rebecca, you're on. You're, you're... Hi, my question, yes, my go question right ahead. is, if your grandparents have passed, but they, can you hear me? Yes. I can hear you. If the, gran the yeah, answer to the my, question is, if the grandparents have passed, passed, can you collect yeah, the money for them? My grandfather was a, my grandfather was a veteran. Um, can they get the money back? Also, I have put in. How long ago address, did he die? Uh, five years ago. Well, n no, because it's only, it only goes back four years. But you could have, okay. during the four years, if he had just died, you could go back and get the four years if you're okay. the person in charge of the estate. Okay. Follow okay. me? Okay, and then when I put, I put in an old address that I had since uh, 1994, it kept saying it didn't have anything. I, I put it in over and over again. And it's okay, like, don't we put in North, your name East, or West. What? And I bought it in, in 1994. What was the address? 6961 North Oakley, Unit 108. 6961. Okay, look, take down this number. Okay. 312-603-6202. On Monday okay. morning, 
call that number, ask for Andy, give him the address, and we'll put it in the computer for you. Okay, wait, wait. Give me that number one more time. 312-603-6202. Okay, got it. I will ask Ask for Andy. Andy. And we'll 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 get it sorted out for you. All right, thank you so much. You're welcome. Great. Bye bye. You know, it, again, a number. The call in number is three one two, three seven four eight one three zero. Is there another call on the line? Hello. I guess not. Okay, that's fine. It's it just uh, a surprise. So, Cliff, let me just tell you something. Yeah, go right ahead. Uh huh. I think my time's almost up, so let me just tell you something interesting. Sure, sure. You know, this is really a a multi-ethnic town. This is a town that just has everything and anything in it. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine that on this website that's now up in 106 languages, that 450,000 people came in in a language other than English to find out how to do this? I mean, that's just astounding to me. I mean, <laughs> it, really, I it really is. I mean, yeah. we went on Telemundo and Univision, the, telev- the Hispanic radio stations. Sure. They've mm-hmm. never had more callers. We're going to do a two hour telethon in Spanish on this. And don't think there aren't a lot of Hispanic veterans that we're not helping. I know. Yeah, that's true. I so I, I'm excited many, yeah. about this website. I mean, we've had 87 countries come in to look at this website. They're taking this technology back to their countries because it's so state-of-the-art. So I know my time's limited, so here's the deal. I'm going to go to this gig. I'm going to get out of there as fast as I can, (laughs) and wherever you are tonight, I'm going to come and find you. I'm going to drop my husband off, and then I'm coming to where you are. You are just, listen, that is wonderful, (laughs) Maria. You are just so great. You know, I know gonna, you. You know what I think. I'm babysitting th- my grandson, and I'm going to have him watch the kid while I come find you. <laughs> That's great. I have never known enough to a, a city official, or not a city, uh, but but a elected official that reaches out as you do, and particularly the the reason you do it, Maria, is to give people money back. How many folks do that? You know, return the money that the government already has. Uh, and and you, have, we're, I'm telling you, we're yeah. killing it. And you know what? I got to. You know, this. I don't have to tell you this. The people who live the longest are the people who do the most for others. Cliff Kelly and Pappas are going to live to be a hundred. <laughs> oh, gonna, I love it. Who do the longest for nobody? I love it. I love it. I love it. Because we're always out there doing. So. And listen, you continue to do. I love it. I'll see you later. I love you too. Thank you so much. Maria Pappas, she is just great. See you around one minute to eleven. That'll be. I'll. I'll, I'll be waiting Don't for you. Don't before I get there. I'll be waiting for you. Okay, it, bye. Okay, now. She is. <laughs> she is such a sweetheart. She. And I don't know whether any of you have ever seen her. She still does those parades when you go out. She uh, twirls a baton. She just does everything. She is so active. It is just. Uh, she's just a great, great, great lady. And uh, make sure you do all of the things that she told you to go on. And, of course, the last thing she mentioned is calling uh, 312-603-6202 and ask for Andy. And uh, if you're having a problem uh, trying to do things, you know, online. Okay, but she is uh, one of the best elected officials you'll see anyway over all of these years because not only does she continue to do what she's doing, she makes it even uh, more achievable. So we will be back in a moment. I'm Cliff Kelly. This is, of course, America's Heroes Group.